B, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode. Let's build a neck. Got the box all laid out, box picked out. Roughing in the sound hole pickup. This can all be moved. I just wanted to sort of visualize it before I go in here and do it. Just makes the job a little more pleasurable. Got the tuners laid out, the headstock sort of pre visualized. This is mahogany. So before I do all this, what I want to do is get the neck cut. I got this from Menards. This is a piece of, okay, this right here is salsa. But this right here is a piece of mahogany. So I'm going to take it downstairs. Well, I'm going to do some measurements first. I'm going to cut two pieces. One piece that goes from inside of here to over here with the angle on it. And then the next, the neck piece right here, and the neck piece is gonna be glued to this, to that scarf joint, and then this will be glued on top. So before, so this is all laid out right here. And before I do all this, I wanna get the neck cut up and glued, so that's glued and drying. And then once that's glued and dried, that can fret this and hopefully I'll be able to build this mostly in one day. That'd be fun. I mean, seriously?
So today is technically neck day. I'm about to pull the clamps off of the neck and call this one did. But while that was drying, I went ahead and put the holes, the body holes in here in preparation of body day. So let's drill three more holes and then I need to go watch one of the little girls ride a bicycle. Let's do it. 9.32, where are you at? 9.32 is this one and this is the one for the volume and tone pots. I have the whole sort of pre, what is this called? Pre-drilled, notched. What's the technical term for that? There it is, boom. This measurement right here, if anyone cares, it's three and a half. Why? That's just the way it worked out. Three and a half is an interesting number. Three and a half center to center from these individual holes is one and three-fourths. Done, done, and done. This bad boy needs to be vacuumed. And let's go check over here at the clamps. This was the fretboard. I think it'd be cool to have like one giant jig to put this in here and just clamp the whole thing. This is what I have. I kind of do this a different way. What's important is it is straight, it's flat. And I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, shape it. Shape it, stain it, wait, shape it, sand it. Shape it, sand it, stain it, and fret it, something like that. Boom. That tippy top is alder. Then it goes to uh, Brain Dead. Help me out here. What is the Gibson SG made out of? Mahogany. Mahogany, mahogany. Maple. Done. Neck day is did. Well, I mean, it's almost did. So neck day is almost did. Next one, we will finish off the neck and maybe install the electronics, we'll see. After the layout phase, well, first of all, the contact phase, then the layout phase, and this is as far as I've gotten today. Next will be to do the neck, and then it will be to install the electronics, and then put it all together. And as a preview, What's in this box, you say? Oh, that's another day, another dollar. Clue, it is not a Harley Benton. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray.
seriously. Okay, one of the things, if you know a little bit about Captain Hallam, Mad Murdoch, shipping and handling, if you order a box from the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, he will be responsible for that. He's also responsible for security. And so one of the ways we train Captain Hallam, Mad Murdoch for security is um, water guns, water cannons. If I'm ever accosted by someone here at the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen with a water cannon or a water gun, this is one of the ways you train them. All right, let's say this is the water gun. This is what's going to wait for you. Ha ha ha!